So the theme for today's vlog is this. This right here. This Samsung Galaxy S21 5G. I guess you could call this like a tech review, but like not really. But one of my big things that I want to talk about today is why I use this as a vlogging camera instead of a proper vlogging camera. And don't get me wrong. I've had opportunities to get a proper vlogging camera, but I also need a phone. Okay, I got to see what the temperature feels like. Do you guys remember literally a week ago when we had eight inches of snow on the ground? And now I'm out here in a t-shirt and jeans and the sun's out and it's nice. I have secured the bag, aka mini brands, and the GoPro. I don't have enough hands for this. <laughs> Why do I use the cell phone to vlog instead of just getting a proper vlog cam? So back about eight months ago, I got this phone. As you can see, in this video, I got a new phone. It's the first vlog I did with the Samsung Galaxy S21. Now, I was really excited to get this thing because I knew how good of a camera it had. It shoots up to 8K video, which is mind blowing. Why not use a traditional, you know, point and shoot vlog type camera to vlog with? Because this is also my cell phone that I'm using. So kind of tough to use both. But when I first went in like eight months ago, eight, nine months, ago when I first started this process I had a really crappy phone and recording video on it if you've seen some of my older videos that I used it with was not very good the quality was poor to say the least it was, I, I think it did shoot 1080 but it was just it was just not good it just doesn't that good quality if that makes sense it just didn't look it just didn't look crisp and clean and clear it wasn't that good. and at that point I was also getting kind of starting to get more into vlogging I was kind of in the vlogging space and I was just I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to get vlog camera like the uh, Sony ZV-1 for example with the little windscreen and the it, all kinds of cool stuff it comes with. I was debating on getting that or this phone. Now I had a couple of different problems I was facing. I had a really crappy phone. It was slow and it wouldn't work and crash and all these different things. It was not a good phone. But I also wanted to get an upgrade for vlogging. I wanted to get a better vlog camera so I could vlog regularly and be comfortable with how it looked. I did use that little camcorder that I used to use all the time for the daily vlog back in college. But I used that. But when I was using it, I kind of figured out that I didn't really like how narrow the lens was because you had to hold it out really, really far in order to get a decent frame shot of me vlogging. So with all of these different things in mind, I figured it would be more worth the investment of money to go ahead and just get the best phone I could possibly get. Because initially what I was going to do was just get another $100 phone, use it for the next year and a half, and then get another one later. But instead of doing that and getting a camera on top of that and spending, and eventually going to be spending more money anyway, I just went ahead and decided to get the best phone I could at the time. And by far, this S21 is the best phone I've ever had, or honestly ever even used. But I've been using this phone for almost a year now actually to vlog and almost every video period I've done whether it was a vlog or not I've used this phone just because it is such a good quality camera like why not use it so in terms of like technical things you know, battery um, storage specs all that kind of stuff I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I know exactly which camera is technically the best but for my specific situation and you can hopefully you can relate to this in the comments I needed a phone like I said and I got the best one I could possibly get so that I could use it for videos not only would I be able to use this phone for videos for YouTube, I could use it for vertical videos, for TikTok, shorts, I could use it for pictures because the camera for photography is beautiful. And I just, after getting this phone, I realized that I do not need a proper vlogging camera yet. Because one thing that I really like about having this phone is compared to just about every other camera out there, the battery is so much better because you know how a lot of these video cameras work. You can record for an hour and you gotta charge your battery or plug your thing in or whatever. And most of these cameras, especially the little bit better ones, they just are battery packs. You have to swap out battery packs and charge the batteries and this and that and this and that. And it's a pain. Whereas the phone, it's literally a phone. You just plug it up and charge it and you can even record it while it's charging. Another thing that I really, really like is if you go into, like I go to Walmart all the time for vlogs just because 
because I end up there all the time. Filming somewhere with a phone is a lot less conspicuous than filming with a camera. Now, if you have a camera and you just take it out and you're like pointing at stuff or even, you know, even a GoPro for crying out loud, you're more likely to get told to stop or get kicked out of the store or whatever if you're recording with a camera than with a phone. Like in my experience, the only time I've ever been told to stop filming was when I was using that little camcorder. We were, me and Peyton were messing around at Walmart one time or something. And like that was the only time ever because it was an actual camera. Because with a phone, you can't always tell if they're actually recording. That's not a huge point, but it's still something that I found interesting that was, you know, I never had it happen with a phone. And obviously, it's not all perfect and wonderful and beautiful because recording with the phone, like right now, I'm recording with the main camera, the 4K, or I, don't even, I think the front facing camera is 4K too. This is the best camera. This is the three camera display action I'm pointing at right now. One thing that I would like out of a vlog camera instead of my phone is the LCD display, whether it flips up from the top or the side, because using the best camera on this phone, I can't see what I'm doing as far as the frame, the image. So I have to kind of set up the shot beforehand and then guess almost, and it's, it's kind of difficult. And it's, it's worth it because it's such a good camera but I that's why like whenever I'm you know holding it out I always have it with the front facing camera so if you notice not only the video is different but the audio is different as well the mic on this side is a little bit better and probably a lot better actually than the mic on this side. I'm also not saying that I don't want to get a vlog camera at some point in the future it's just that right now the early stages I want to save as much money as I can for doing content instead of equipment to me what's most important is spending money on the content and not the production because the production you can do that with nothing. You can I just, I have my editing software. I have my phone. I have my knowledge and my skills that I've developed. And that's all you really need. And it's basically free. So if I hadn't gotten this phone, I probably would have gotten not as good phone and a camera. Instead of doing two different things, I went ahead and got this, which is ultimately the best of both worlds. My only complaint is the audio is different with this camera and the flip side. So, I mean, it's nothing crazy. I can fix it in editing. I can talk louder in real life. It's not a big deal. I also use this phone this is the galaxy s21 i use it with the joby gorilla pod and one of these little i think what's the brand i don't even know but it's just a little phone clamp thing i just twisted it in and it holds got this phone, it works wonderfully. I would like to get a proper vlog camera at some point, cause then I could have that, I have a whole, I'll have a whole bag full of fun stuff that I could use for vlog. I'd have that for my main, and then I could have this for if I, you know, if I go into Walmart or something, and I don't want to bring the camera. If I go somewhere that I don't want to bring the actual camera, I could bring this phone, which is just as good as any other camera, and we'd be fine. A message that I kind of want to get across to you guys is, if you guys are into, you know, if you guys want to vlog, or if you guys want to make YouTube videos, my biggest thing is don't worry about what equipment you have, or what you're using because it's always going to look bad or it's always going to seem bad in the beginning. Like, I used a really good camera on my very first YouTube video, but the actual content within makes me cringe. But you got to get around that and be like, hey, everybody starts out this way. Everybody starts off hating their own video, but you end up growing and you build your knowledge and your skills and you learn things and you get better. And also it is kind of nice looking back at my first videos because I can kind of learn and I can, I can see where I was and feel really good about where I'm at now. Realize that I, I've actually made progress. Oh, <laughs>